Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Drupal Studios channel. Today we're going to be revisiting uh, quite an old tutorial. Uh, it was how to make a flashlight in Scratch and today I'm going to be improving upon it, uh, improving upon it rather, because um, it was quite old and I feel like I have learned uh, quite a bit so I can make it even better and improve it and share it with you guys. So the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to add a backdrop because it just it'll make it easier to see so blue sky smack that in you don't need to do this unless you already have a backdrop and then i'm going to move my cat down a little bit there we go so the first thing we want to do when actually creating the flashlight is we want to go over to this choose a sprite down here and we want to go to paint this is going to be our flashlight sprite so as you can see a flashlight and what we want to do is go to this square button down here, the rectangle mode or whatever. So then we want to go to the fill and we want to choose this option here. The one where it's kind of like faded in the middle, like so. So it kind of look like this. Obviously, we don't want that because I don't think any flashlight looks like that. None that I know anyways. Uh, and what we want to do is make this first color here, the invisible one. So it will be invisible and see-through in the middle and make this second color a nice black and then what I want to do is it doesn't really matter about outline outline doesn't really want to what I want to do is hold shift and drag it like so so there we go so now we can kind of see through the scrape the sprite here so if I hover over we can kind of see our sprite uh, and I'm going to leave that as it is then we want to go to the fill option here and we just want to click the plain one once again make it a normal fill and just make that a black color and then we want to outline it as best as we can without overlapping the middle so just do these edges first there we go so now we shouldn't have any white area around the middle bit so now we can go ahead to the coding tab and we can go to the events tab when green flag clicked and we want to grab a forever smack that in there we want to go to looks and we want to get the show just so it's showing at the top here and then we want to go to um <clears throat> change set size to and then we can do 200 percent let's just say so it's bigger doubles it um and then we can go to motion, uh, go to, drag that in there, and we want to set that to mouse pointer. So now if we click play, as you can see, it always goes over. But however, you may notice that we've set it to 200, but the size is 92. Don't worry, we will fix that in a second. But as you can see, it now just follows the mouse cursor. So let's just pause that. And what we want to go do is go back to costumes, and we can rename this costume to be big. And then we want to go to choose costume, paint a new costume, and we can call this one small. Right. Now we can go back to the look section. We can go switch costume to, uh, let's just set that like that. We can get, set the costume to small. And we want to grab it again, but this time set the costume to big. Now, if we do it, as you can see, we've got a nice little flashlight, and it seems to be working perfectly fine. However, if you may think that 200 is too big, that's fine. You can change it to 150. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine once again. Now we've got that kind of flashlight working, but it is, it's a very static flashlight and it doesn't really look like a flashlight. You can keep it like this. However, if you want a little like more of a flashlight that's kind of working and it feels like it's an actual flashlight, what we can do is go to operators, pick random, and pop that into the set size so now we can go to 140 and 150 so we can hit play again as you can see it kind of like flickers however if that is not your thing just remove that and have it to the static value thank you for watching please do leave a like and subscribe if you found this helpful stick around for more tutorials i'll see you in the next one goodbye